This video shows a mysterious fireball lighting up the night sky in the United Kingdom after the Queen's death last week, with many linking the, quote, celestial moment to Queen Elizabeth. That's the latest in a report at Space Chatter. Hi there, I'm Jeff Allen. Please like and subscribe to get all of the latest breaking space stuff directly to you. Scientists hope remains from the event will be found in Queen Elizabeth Forest Park, meaning it would be named after Her Majesty. The streak of light, which could be the first meteorite over Scotland in more than a century, lasted for 10 seconds. Experts say it may either be burning space debris or a meteorite, but did not closely resemble either in the way it fragmented. Now, meteorites are named after the location where they are found. Dr. Anne O'Brien, 30, a planetary scientist at the University of Glasgow and a member of the UK Fireball Alliance, says she hoped that the remains may be found in the forest so it will be named after Queen Elizabeth II. The event was spotted on September 14th, just about a week after the Queen's passing. It is possible the mystery object may have landed in the Atlantic south of the Hebrides due to the trajectory. It may have also fallen on an island or in the Irish Sea. The west coast of Scotland is another possibility. O'Brien believes the fireball is likely a meteor, saying, quote, It came at such a shallow angle, which is what gives it a long streak. It went for about 10 seconds. People saw it from all over, unquote. O'Brien, originally from Newcastle in England, believes there is certainly a connection to the beloved queen. She said, quote, The fact this has happened this week, of all times, just makes it extra special. It is a really important celestial moment that happened in a really important week for the country. If it means that one child who saw it takes an interest in science, I would be happy, unquote. You can check out this and more info and other cool space news and updates by clicking the link in the description below and head on over to spacechatter.com.